My personal is protection and privacy. It is, I have nothing to protect me from the I-5 Highway 58 freeway that's going in except a chain link wall. Tonight's city council meeting taking up several controversial issues. And thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Park. And I'm Todd Carley from panhandlers to noisy freeways and possibly demolishing hundreds of homes. City council has a full plate tonight. We take a live look now at city council chambers where in about 15 minutes they will be taking on those issues, including noise from the West Side Parkway. 23 ABC's Mark Christian joins us live from the Parkway with what those homeowners want and why sound walls were not part of the original plans. Mark? That's right, guys. We're here on the West Side Parkway, and the main area of concern for residents is on the south side of the freeway. If we could just go and take a look at the south side of the freeway. Now, the area mostly concerned is between Joetta and Renfro Roads. Now, federal guidelines require sound walls for freeways surpassing 66 decibels. And we're out here right now. We have a uh, app on the phone, and right now it is, other than me talking, it's been hovering about 60%. Now, these decibels are going on the freeway as we speak, but for the main thing, the concern for these residents is they want a sound wall. I just think it's a reasonable request. In 2005, there were preliminary plans to erect sound walls in the area. However, in 2010, officials performed a sound study. Uh, based on that study, uh, we show that no sound walls were needed in that particular area. Dozens of residents in the Brighton Park and Stockdale West area have been concerned over the effects of the West Side Parkway. The freeway already passes by Brighton Park and residents thought they were going to get a sound wall before the freeway was built. Uh, a normal thing to, uh, you know, to expect. And then all of a sudden it was built and no sound wall. Now right now the freeway is still under construction as it passes by Stockdale West. <laughs> And right now, the only thing separating the freeway from the homes is this chain link fence. My personal is protection and privacy. It is, I have nothing to protect me from the I-5 Highway 58 freeway that's going in except a chain link wall. There has been petitions signed, flyers sent, and emails between residents and city officials. And for the residents west of Allen, their voices may have been heard, even though that part of the freeway did not meet federal criteria for a sound wall. Engineering crews are considering building a sound wall west of Allen through Jenkins Road. However, it may come at a cost. If we build something, it will have to be paid with local funds. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, direct our designers to do a study to see how costly this will be. Now, what this means is the cost for a sound wall could come out of the taxpayers' pockets. So for the residents in the Brighton Park area, there are no immediate plans to put in a sound wall. But for the residents who are in the Stockdale West area, they say they remain cautiously optimistic. Back to you.